Dude, let's do. All right, so the email exchange <laughs> <laughs> go back and forth. Wait, did we really start? Oh yeah. I love oh, when he does right. that. That's right. Right. <laughs> it's so exciting. I never know. I just get. Well, l- let me finish that thought. The, the email exchange, exchange we have back and forth yeah. that we call show prep, like legit show prep. Yeah. It's we legit. we were going legit. back and forth, and it's like, okay, that's good, but uh, that's yeah. good, but uh, it's like. It's and negative. I, and I felt like I was coming out negative on some of the things because no. you guys were bringing stuff up. I'm like, that's like what old newspaper guys do is complain about things. Right. And then when somebody tells right. them something, they're like, I don't get it. No, we right. don't. And we don't bitch about it. We just no, go, no. that's just what we talk about. Yeah. Like the, we don't want to be that way, but we I we appreciate your input. Because yeah, but now want- I'm becoming you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I don't want to be. I don't want to be. One of us. I don't. I don't want to be the bitter old guy. Not uh, that you guys are the bitter old guy. I'm just no, saying typical. No, we don't want to be that way either. No, so. because you're not newspaper writers anymore. So come to true. the gray side, baby. No, 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 no. Let's have the fun side. Yes. So today's edition of the drill is going to be a bunch of negative Nancys coming out <laughs> here. Yeah. yeah. That's Everything a, sucks. What are you doing? I got new business cards. You got business cards. Oh, I got wow. new business cards. By the way, wait a minute. I can wait. barely see your name. Wow, Thank this you. is hurting my eyes. The diva Holfarth. First of all, you're wearing a sport coat for a show that's supposed to be casual. That's true. So you're, yeah, you're going that next level. I can't believe he's in a coat because you guys don't know oh. this. It's 800 degrees in here. No, no, no. Look, just off camera, they have a cold burning stove. Look that's what why else I, don't I got in my Eric pocket. East. I am now a member of the Bevmo Club. <laughs> where you, where you been? That's and this is festive. my, this is my unemployment card that they load up with money. Okay, okay, don't show <laughs> your. <laughs> <laughs> credit cards. It's unemployment. They don't give you checks okay, anymore. Okay, someone just froze that they and is like, enlarging oh. it. Okay. Wait a minute. You know wait. what? There's nothing on it. There's wait, wait, wait. nothing on it. You get an unemployment card? Yeah. Why? Because I'm unemployed. What? State of California gives you money when you're unemployed. When you get, what? Let, when wait, you get wait, laid wait. off. Wait, if you get laid off? This isn't welfare. This is like when you get laid off from a real job, yeah. you get unemployment. Oh, a real wait, newspa- job? Newspaper because you job? paid money into this unemployment fee, so yeah. <laughs> But here's the problem. Wait a minute. This is a whole wait, book wait, wait, I'm ready wait, wait. to do did now. Did you get a buyout? Yeah. No, a no buyout. Did oh, they, they just uh, uh, laid you out. Okay, so oh. when I, I got let go by ESPN, yeah. uh, they eliminated my position. I got this by severance. Did you get that? I got a severance, but it's still, you can get this. You start. Damn. You start now, in lieu of the money, wait, did wait, they give wait, you wait. the coat? Is that how oh, it no, worked no, no, out? No, 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 no. You're like Costanza right now. You're pretending to have a job? Yeah. Vandalay oh, Industries. Vandalay. 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 Vandalay Industries. That's what my card should say, Vandalay Industries. You really went and got business cards. I had to get them. and I, that's Why? That's the least expensive ones I could get. Nice. This is, I'm going out you to network are. today. I'm going out to network in downtown L.A. There's a thing called CAA World Congress. All the big heavy hitters in sports business are going to be there. And that's CAA, the ad agent? Yeah. The, the agents? Yeah. yeah. Get, find me an agent. Sure. I'll now, tell me, by, by networking, you mean low-rent gigolo? Is that what you're talking well, about, Gary? You can call it what you want. No, no, it sounds like middle-class gigolo. That's true. <laughs> I'm a male prostitute. I would say you, you've got Art the hair Vandalay. for it. That's <laughs> why your hair has a little feather it's in there like you no, shampoo. I nice. swear to God, it, I my did nothing different to my goodness. hair. Nice. Well, you know, I give you credit anyway. for instead of sitting on your arse and complaining about everything like every real sports writer, yeah. you're actually going to do something. You have business cards? I have to. I, my old business cards, I just threw them all away, and I go, I got nothing to hand out to potential employers The today. best part it says right here, uh, farther off the wall is your website. Yes. Twitter, Tom Hofarth. Yes. It used to have a phone number and a fax number, right? Mm-hmm. Fax number. Yeah. 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 Look yeah. at you. You know, you know, Tom, you're a whippersnapper. You're a young kid. Yeah. You're gonna make. You're gonna make moves. God Beth damn Lebrun, it. Sure the the enterprising Tom Holforth <laughs> and Steve Lowry, who I don't know what you're. And if you need a, if you need a discount at Bevmo, I'm your man at 9 a.m. Hey, they five cents so is legit. Load up. Yes. They are there. Load up. Right. Lowry, how you been? I've been good. I've been good. I don't have. Why are you holding cards? water right now in front because of the TV it's camera? Because it's 800 degrees I in need here, a drink. and oh Eric God. is loading coal into that stove over there. So I'm just. Just to go with my, oh my God, alcohol. You, this you're morning. not gonna drink out of his water, are you? Oh, no. You really are. Now we're technically married. Oh wow. We share DNA. That's all right. Well, you got the what, coke. What is, uh, <laughs> what's going on here? Well, we're hydrating. This is what's going on here. I'm gonna no, we no, have no, more hey. water. You Give don't have to it. get one. I drank it after you drank it, so it didn't yeah. bother me. Why does this now bother oh, no, you? Oh my goodness. It's, I can't drink it now. Oh my God. What okay, you, my but now we're complaining. We've Did totally. All right, no more complaining. Let's get to the drill. You're just. Beth Duran, Tom Holforth, and his. Common law, Steve Lowry. <laughs> John McKelvey behind the scenes doing the show. John, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm, Please I'm save feeling me. okay. I, I don't know if you I can be saved don't at this know point. What's going on. <laughs> Love is in the air. Wait, wait, folks. go back to the hat. Was that Lake Elsinore Storm hat? Uh, no, this is a Mahoning Valley Scrappers hat. Obviously. Dang. Where is that at? It is in Youngstown, Ohio. Well, Niles, Ohio, just north of uh, Youngstown. Was it like a short season team yeah. or something? Yeah, single-A short season for the Get a little closer Cleveland to the camera Indians. so we can see that I hat. love how the two uh, the two vent holes up there look like the eyes. That is so That's cool. That's a nostril, So Mahoning Valley 
Scrappers. Scrappers. Wow. There's Scrappers. a bunch of scrappy p- team around there. Uh, well, Scrap it's, metal. It, yeah, it's... Yeah. The that sounds town like what is our an show old steel town. We should be the scrappers. Oh, there you go. We are scrappy. Eric, I don't know about that. <laughs> Schmeeds, <laughs> how you scrappy. feeling? I'm feeling good. Is it time for hockey? <laughs> God. The hockey minute with oh. Eric E. Bear will be coming up later on <laughs> in the show. Enough. Which, by the way, by the way <laughs> hey, your last name is E. Bear, huh? A bear, like Gee. Yeah. No, like Bobby. Like the quarterback. Bobby yeah. Bear. The Cajun Cannon. Bobby yeah, Hebert. Yeah, yeah. Cajun Cajun. But he was Bobby Hebert, right? He was Hebert for a long time. Uh, That's what I say yeah. at the hotels. Uh, <laughs> you're Hebert. So yeah. you really are okay. Are you related to him? I'm not. I like to yeah. say he's Uncle Bobby. He's Look. more he's closer to Eric Lindros, a little too many shots to the head. Oh my god. Hey, right, that's enough hockey talk. So <laughs> Yeah, right. by the way, I'm not giving up my chair this week for some we weak continue. Ass hockey stuff. I'll so do it. I'll give it up. <laughs> all right. So every up. single week we continue yeah. to evolve. We actually have oh, notes. I don't have my phone I'll now. I have a piece of paper. Why do you have something? You are coming to the outside. Wait, these are things we're gonna talk about later. That not, no, no big deal. Just let's let's roll. <laughs> They'll come. This is ad. Oh, these wait. are pre-rehearsed ad libs. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is fantastic. You guys are taking ownership these of the show. These are ad libs. You guys are really getting it off. By the way, is my mic working? That's the yeah. Yes. You have yes. a voice today. First six episodes, I was told I talk too soft. That's right. just me. I'm sorry. You know what it is? <laughs> the sport coat. <laughs> The sport coat. The sport yeah, coat the comes sport out coat. strong. You yeah. know what? All I business. got a little Brockmire so in me. So far, this has been the most complaining show we've done. No, this you guys, a, you guys you stop you, it. You like Inception. Did that you into two? Our head. Did you two go to no. breakfast this morning? No, no, no. we no. didn't. You're six a.m. See, you guys saved you your bullets. You know bullet. what it is? Now we that we're married, water. the thrill is gone. We, we shared don't water. That's all we do now. Before we move on to the drill, though, let's get a picture of or view of Lowry's Pumas here. Come on, these are sweet. Ricky Fowler going on. But now you're gonna hate me. No, no, no. I didn't, get them, I didn't get them for free. Well, no, I, 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 I know you were. I paid money. But these yeah, are sweet suede, right? dark blue with yeah. orange Florida Gator they go, they go with your pajamas, your medical yeah. outfit here. Okay, I'm getting very but uncomfortable. But they're, they're uh, <laughs> I know we were doing that to keep stand, it LA but relevant. I got really uncomfortable. We got Pepperdine Wave oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right there. A little WCC action for you. Yeah. Those are sweet. They're, they're smooth. They're scrub. They go with the scrubs. Look well. at, look, wait, McKelvey. <laughs> wait, wait, hold up. McKelvey comes in strong Those with the nice. with the Those Rochers. Are nice. yeah, yeah, these are these are purchased to be destroyed at Coachella. So, oh, you going oh. to Coachella? I am going to weekend two. I leave. You going on, to weekend uh, two? Who's yeah. who's your number one C? Who do you want to see? Uh, it's. You know, after watching her performance on uh, on YouTube, Beyonce's yep. got to be in yep. there now. Is she yeah. there again? She's yeah. It's both weekends, so you sign up, you're in for both weekends. Yeah. But if you already saw it last week, why watch it again? Because uh, it was really impressive. Right. Yeah. But now you want to see it, it in person. Yeah. Because yeah. you know she's not gonna do the same thing, right? I I don't know. Even maybe better. she will. She might or she might not. And maybe I don't you know. get a little Kendrick. Might, maybe he was hey, there last. Hey, week. Look at you hey, coming hey, in. Hey, hey, Pulitzer hey, Prize winning Kendrick. Yo 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 yo. Kendrick Lamar has more Pulitzers than I do now. I can't believe you know Kendrick. I know Kendrick. You it's live the on the other side of the 405. It's the Pulitzer. It's, a, it's all Pulitzer. That's why. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I did see Kendrick last year, though. He, he was, was good. good. Yeah. Stay humble, Lowry. Stay all humble. All right, all right. And it is time. You don't even know what that means, right? Oh, I know. What? I think we all know. No, the humble part. What, what about it? Kendrick. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, maybe. The words are coming so quick. Look, I'm still getting over Tommy having his, his hand on my knee, okay, about right. a couple minutes ago. And it is time. We got sound effects. We got sound effects. Give me uh, some. Maybe I'll hit the right one. And it is time for now for the drill. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord. Uh, so this is the part where we got a minute on the clock, okay. and Steve Lowry is given a minute to rant about whatever he wants. I yes. ask the questions. These are pre- um, <laughs> Not rehearsed. <laughs> I was, was going to say something else. I'm like, no, we me, talked about l- it. L- l- let me just say, these are off the cuff. Yes, right. they are. Uh, so, Larry, you get one okay. minute after Got that. Uh, if Tom wants to jump in there and say Good. something, he can. Yes. Usually, okay. I stick out of it. That's true. One minute on the clock, ready to go. Lakers and Clippers are not in the playoffs, but it was a good season for the Lakers. Clippers, I think it was disappointing. Lowry and go. Okay, so has anybody noticed that the Los Angeles Clippers are completely imploding as an organization? <laughs> the they the just coach gave us all this stuff. Hey, let him go. He's on his own. The coach was completely non-committal <laughs> about coming back. They've already traded their best player, Blake Griffin. They're about to lose their other player, DeAndre Jordan. If this was the Lakers and they had lost their top player, let's say I don't know Kyle Kuzma, and then we're about to lose their next best player, let's say Brandon Ingram, and then someone went to Luke Walton and said, "Hey, what about next year?" and he said, "Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be here next year." People would go nuts with the Clippers. It's just 15 like, seconds. Oh, hum. I think I, I've said this before. They had this window open to kind of maybe make a little um, inroad into the Lakers here, and it's five. It's, they've lost four. It's over. Three, the Lakers two, are ascending again. The Clippers one. are over. What did he say, Tom? I have no idea what he was talking about. I was just getting redressed here. Did you mention the Lakers at all? 
No, I oh, just talked Clippers. about the Clippers, okay. yeah. Well, I, I mentioned the Lakers, that if the, the very same thing was happening to the Lakers, this yeah. town would be losing its mind. Wasn't that the Lakers yeah. two years ago? Yeah, this is the only exactly. thing I can bring to the table on the Lakers. Meta World Peace has a new book coming out. That's oh, really? all you're going to know about the Lakers coming up. <laughs> really? That's no it. malice, my life in basketball. Yep. How a kid from Queensbridge survived the streets, the brawls, and himself to become an NBA champion. We were discussing cool. perhaps coming, having him come on as a guest. Oh, that'd be great. Let's see what happens. That's no problem. Eric, we will be the Panda's friend. Yeah. Good that's dude. my point about the Lakers. When this was happening to them two years ago, people were losing their minds. My point is no one gives a damn about the Clippers. I think it's a rebuild. I mean, you got to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Does the hockey minutes start? That, that's been right. since you guys are ready Buffalo. for hockey, I'm ready. Why uh, don't no. the Clippers move to Orange County, by the way? Oh. Yeah. Uh, Why not? Moving to the Honda Center. Center. I'll go watch them. What's up with this guy? They're made for the Honda Center. Rule number one of a lead in sports, yes. always start with the Lakers <laughs> if you yes, want hits. You buried the if you want, point. If you want clicks, yeah. remember, it's a clickbait a society point. here. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. talk about the Lakers, yep. you always, you'd always say, Kobe, boom, a million hits, <laughs> right. and the Lakers, right. and yeah. then you'd get the results. You let up. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. <sighs> Okay. Can we delete is. that? Can we delete that minute? Mm, maybe. All yeah. right. All right. All right. Second one. Baseball season underway. Yes. Most of the country is snowed in or rained. They haven't been playing. Dodgers and Angels going in opposite directions in April. Right. One minute, Lowry. Go. Okay. This is who you should be rooting for if you're a Laker fan. See, I took what you said. Okay. Here's the deal. If you're a Laker fan, this is what you want. You want the Cavaliers to be humiliated by Indiana so that LeBron says, I'm out of here. It ain't going to get any better. I'm thinking about L.A. If you want Clay Thompson, you got to root for the Warriors to win a championship. Why? Then Clay Thompson will have three championships. He'll know he'll never get his due when he's up there, and he'll be thinking in 2019, I got to go and make my own. What are you way. talking about? Who's gotta talking be- about Clay Thompson? <laughs> <laughs> because we're talking about Clay the Thompson. The question was so Dodgers and yeah. Lakers. You just said I should baseball. talk about Lakers. What, is, what are you talking one. about? And here's the other thing you got to root for. You got to root for. No, no, forget for it, forget it, forget it. Kawhi? No, no, you're done. Cut his microphone off. <laughs> Cut his microphone off. Cut his mic off. Do you have booze Cut his mic off. This isn't around the horn. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, seriously. All right, I had to stand up for this one. If you're, uh, mute him. No, 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 he's done. <laughs> Dodgers. <laughs> it was. Do Dodgers? Everybody heard this, right? Dodgers and Angels going in opposite directions. Go. It, but what did you say before that? Got to talk about Lakers. No, when the question is about oh mixed messages. No, no you missed no. your chance to talk about the Lakers, and you spent all the time talking about the Clippers. That no one cares about. Oh, my God. What? We're moved on. Wait, wait, Schmeeds. Uh, executive decision. You want to talk hockey? Yeah. Yes. You know, right now, it's time hockey for the hockey time. minute. Is it? Hockey it it is. Get in here. Lowry, get out of here. No, no, no. Get Lowry out of here. No. You went and you talked about the, the – oh, my goodness. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is a mess. You know, Lowry, he looks sit like there. Sinatra. No, no, sit there All and right. think about what you just did to the show. You're in timeout. How you derailed this show so bad that w- I don't even know why we have notes and 8,000 emails going back and <laughs> forth if you're just going to do your own thing over there. All right, Kobe? Uh, no. So here it is. The Hockey Minute. <laughs> I'd like to talk more Eric- about Kendrick, too, oh, if we could. Oh, my goodness. That was wild. Like, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> One minute with Eric Eber, your Hockey Minute. Go. All right, guys, I'm sorry. SoCal Hockey is not doing very well. (laughs) Kings and Ducks down 3-0. I apologize. Kings, big big thing coming out of this series. Uh, Game three, wow. Gave up three goals in the third period. Lost the series pretty much there. Drew Doughty gets suspended. You got 20 seconds, man. Do something here. Game two, I don't think he should have got suspended, but. Damn. Yeah. Um. Great, great you know, talk. Tom, was, I miss you. Uh, <laughs> Tom, get out of here. Get out of here. Talk I, more about the Lakers. Get out of here. All right, one more thing on Dowdy. I thought it was an undisciplined play. He's a two-time Stanley Cup champion, Norris Trophy winner. To get a penalty like that, it just – it was an undisciplined play. Speaking of undisciplined – Done. The, Buzz. The Ducks, Let's go. The Ducks, I don't know what happened last night. Eight to one. It's over. <laughs> Good job, it, it was a good year, SoCal. Go put Cole in the stove. There you go, Eric. At least you stayed on topic you know, and you figured things out. You know, th- about your hockey, I think. One no, 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 no. There's no follow-ups on the hockey. No, no. The I'm is... taking over the show right uh, now. No, right. no, no. All right, you ready, Lowry? <laughs> all right. Okay, Here we go. now let's take two, Lowry. Okay. The reason that we talked and we set you up on the Dodgers and yes. Lakers is because we have illustrations. Oh, Thompson oh. Tune. We want to throw to him Sorry, so we can talk about all that. All right, let's do it again. Let's go back in time. All right, ready? Lock in here. Good. <laughs> if I could turn back Good thoughts time. on the Lakers and Clippers. Good job there, uh, Lowry. I pre- I agree with everything you said about the Clippers. Thank you, Now, it's time 
For the second question on the drill, yes. the Dodgers, they can't win. Well, they beat the Padres every now and then. Thank Angels, God for the Padres. they have a star in Otani in yes. the making. Obviously, we're going to see what he is yeah. the rest of the year. Lowry, one minute. The way the baseball has started in L.A., go. Dodgers, uh, we're not going to panic just yet, although uh, they don't look so great. But, again, thank God for the Padres. Angels, something weird happened the other day. Otani comes up. People start cheering for him in Kansas City. And the Angels requested that they stop cheering because they found it distracting. By the way, Otani made clear he didn't request this. The Angels have just totally um, killed this guy because now every team in every market is going to cheer loudly and distract this guy. This is so typical of the Angels, which are not used to being a big draw on the road. I mean, do you think the Yankees and Dodgers would ever say, Hey, we don't want too much cheering. It distracts our players. So they, they told the time. fans, don't cheer too loud don't for Otani. They were cheering for Otani, and just, they found that distracting. Just a group of fans. In fact, it was apparently three women with a Japanese flag, which is charming. It's nice. They were getting loud. So and by the now way, now you, you just gave Otani uh, a bullseye in every single city. Exactly. Wait till he goes to New York. Exactly. Wait till he goes to Boston. Right. Exactly. It's going to be very loud out there. For exactly. You. This leads us Cleveland. to our cartoon by Thompson Tunes. Right, that's what is it? Jim Thompson. Jim Jimmy, Thompson. Jimmy Sports Tunes. Jimmy Sports Tunes. So in March, everybody's on the Dodger bandwagon. You see the Dodger flag going out there. Everybody's going to uh, Camelback in Arizona. They're going to go out there. Everybody's like, woo. March like to the guys. title. It's the March to the, the title. The season starts, and it's, hey, how about them angels? Hey, angels. We love the angels. Now, my question woo -woo. was. Is that a convertible Celica? Is that, no, was that's that a, your that's question? That's an eclipse. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> Do people really switch from Dodgers to Angels in this city? No. no and by the way, so. also, is Armageddon happening? Because it yeah. appears that, yeah, the They're town's on fire. Cloud, yeah. Yeah. But they don't really switch, right? No. But I will say this, though. No. You do see a lot of Angel fans coming out of the World Works, right? Yes. yes they come out. They, hi they hibernate until something worthy is coming out. Yeah. That's always an interesting city, yeah. when, uh, a venue to play. Even when you talk to former players or current players, say when you come to Anaheim, there is no – buzz there as an opposing player right like you just know it's gonna be sleeping people are gonna clap and nobody's even in the bullpen which is right above them said nobody yells at them yeah. right nobody's on yeah. at dodger stadium yankee stadium chicago it's like the people are so rabid against you right exactly but why with angels do they i mean you have a guy in otani yeah trout isn't the most exactly the most guy that you want to root no, for no. personality wise no. on the field wise great i love him yeah if you're a baseball nerd you love him i mean he's, he's the best but is Otani going to get people to get – he's going to draw them? I, I think he does have that little thing, the thing that Bryce Harper has, that thing that uh, Yasiel Puig has. There are there are people who have star quality, and it has nothing to do with their talent per se. You just can't take your eyes off of them. Trout is the perfect example of anybody who knows anything about baseball says that's the best player. It's not even close. But he's not somebody – I don't know that you feel that way. About we had the big fish things going for a while with Trout. It's Trout sort of died down, and you sort of accepted his greatness. I think at mm -hmm. this point, it, you, he had the big rise and the big the, the big to do. But uh, to me, the Dodgers, when you talk about sizzle, this is what I this is what I see for the Dodgers the rest of the year. I found this in my uh, FedEx store today for some reason. Not even at the market. The FedEx store is now selling Dodger steak snacks. Which we can pop open and just and no. wait, Dodger steak snacks. Steak snacks, yeah. I, I, it's not. They don't even pretend it's beef jerky what is it? anymore. <laughs> it, wait, it's beef jerky? I don't know. It's meat like. It's meat like. Go ahead, yeah, Ohio guy. This is all ahead. Ohio written all this over. This is you. called lunch for John. <laughs> steak <laughs> snacks. This isn't a prop. This is this no. This is all real. You can buy this for six ninety nine, which I thought was a little expensive. And you'll be invoicing Pearl Angle. There yeah, you go. True. The way John just did that, he'd look. Wait, like is it really beef jerky? Does it taste like uh, who? Who's it taste like? Chase Utley? Who? <laughs> Dodger Stadium Ugh. steak snacks. It's it's. Chase, I hope, it's I would say Chase Ugly. Us Ugly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Utley, but I think he might break my leg. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's. Hey, Chase, that's just, we were at that game. That's Chase's. We were. That's Chase's. So glove. Is any good reviews? You know, with the Dodger defense, that's what they're yeah, doing Jack with the Lynch gloves. They're better. recycling <laughs> gloves into steak snacks. All right, so we need food reviews on the All show. Right. Right. The way the way you smelled that, you look so like you a you wouldn't pay six ninety nine for that. Yeah. You there wouldn't you pay six ninety nine. Now a six prop. Now a prop. Yeah. 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 Depends if is the is the other stuff on sale. I haven't wow. seen Angel steak snacks. Which 
Because, you know, when I want to buy food, I always go to the FedEx store. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly. That's places. exactly yeah. what I was yeah. thinking when I was there. While I was waiting for them to print the cards, well, that's the thing. I needed food. Oh, is that where you got the cards? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, we <laughs> 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 the so you go oh, get business cards and around. snacks all at the same time. Sponsored there you go. by FedEx, Redondo Beach. Business now, this <laughs> week, this past week, I worked a fight on ESPN2. Yes. You're all excited, Lowry, for this. So excited. I didn't know you were a pugilist fan. Yes. Uh, ESPN2, it was Francisco El Bandido Vargas, a former world champion from Mexico City. He took on Rod Salca from the Pittsburgh area. Now, Salca is best known for having got knocked out by Danny Garcia, a Puerto Rican, a couple years ago. As Salca went up two divisions and just completely blown away. Now, this fight was in his own division, 130 pounds. Yeah. And Salca walked into the ring wearing uh, trunks that opened up a lot of people's eyes. Now, Salca's background, he ran for Congress and his former military. Uh, he ran for Congress in the Pittsburgh area, okay. went unopposed, did it, ran up against a Democrat, smoked in uh, yep. uh, the, the ballot. Salka walked into the song, Proud to be an American. Mind you, we're in Indio, California, the Coachella Valley, pro-Latino area, uh, pro-Latino crowd, heavy Latino area. Yep. And Coachella was going on a couple blocks away. And the trunks that he had on, on the belt said, America first. Mm -hmm. And they had brick motif <laughs> on the wall. Lowry, Okay. feel free. You, so you really wanted this one. It's a Thursday night. And I'm sitting at home because I'm a sad human being. And I think <laughs> I'm going to watch my buddy Beto because he, he had talked about that on the show. He's going to be in India. So I turn on the show, and, and I'm watching it, and there's matches, and they're doing a great job. All of a sudden, they introduce Mr. Salk, and he comes in, and I'm looking for a little while, and I'm not thinking anything of it. And then I see the America first. And I literally was back on my couch, and then all of a sudden, I saw the bricks on the shorts, and I went, what? <laughs> and I literally <laughs> text him, like, what the hell? Is that guy wearing the wall? <laughs> He's, on he's wearing the wall. <laughs> he's yeah. a Pink Floyd fan. Now, I thought, I thought, like, you know how sometimes stuff happens and you think, am I the only one seeing this? Am I, am I crazy? <laughs> no, you weren't. Because so what was going on there? Yeah, so people, because when you're there, you're actually watching the fight, and you yeah. see the uh, good job by John bringing the animation up there. And this story wow. uh, went on Deadspin. It went on USA Today. Yeah. It was the big news. And I saw it on Reddit. Reddit, really? Yeah. 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 And um, around there, you texted me. I, so I was the ringside reporter for that fight. Right. So I'm running around. I saw. I was like, "Wow, okay." I noticed it right away, and of course, people started tweeting me, "Are you going to talk about this? Are you going to bring this up?" Because I'm giving reports of what's going on. Right. But my job at that night was to tell you what's going on during the fight. The fight. It's not the political side. So for those of you people that really sent me some creative tweets, I couldn't get into that because we're not there to talk politics yeah. and what people are wearing yeah. about that time during that time. Mind you, the back of my head, I'm like. This fool has got some uh, some huevos. When did you realize? <laughs> did, did you know as soon he as was I wear that? I, as soon as, because when he walked in, yeah, he uh, I heard the born, proud to be an American. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I see him, and, and so where he walked into the ring, yeah. I was standing right next to him. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like red, white, and blue. That was like, okay, I got <laughs> right? it. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, and I, I'm sitting to next to a couple of the fighters who weren't fighting that night. They're like, damn, that guy's got Mario Brothers. Uh, that w one of the young kids was like 19. Yeah. And the other guy's like, fool, he's got a wall <laughs> on his shorts. So not everybody picked up on it right away. I would but as the so. fight progressed, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Bernardo Suna was doing the play-by-play, -play, and Bernard Hopkins, uh, who were on the broadcast, yeah. never brought it up. And we were never told, don't talk about it, stay right. away from it, because the bigger thing was this guy who's fighting, yeah. uh, Vargas, yeah, is yeah. trying to get himself back yes. into the championship yeah, yeah. mix. Right. Yeah. So I... I was never going to say anything about it because right. just not the time or place for it. Yeah. And not saying that I took some pride and in, in, in enjoyed Salk getting his butt kicked. Right. right. Because that's a great media story. Yeah. Because yeah. I, it, it wasn't because at the end of the day, you're doing your job. And that's what you're worried right. about. And there's so many other stories out there. But I got done afterwards and we're talking and I was talking with some of the other people. I'm like, you know what? The day before we have fighter meetings where yeah. we ask these guys to question what's going on. And I thought about it later. Like in the fighter meetings, he never brought it up. He had his own T-shirt on. He had nothing else. So you, it was completely unexpected. So of course, he did it on purpose. Now, I'm pretty sure his constituents, the people who are from that area that think like him, were thinking, yeah, he might have lost, but he sent a message to these Mexicans. He did this because there's a lot of people who I also found some stories were very proud of him right. for standing up to those Mexicans. Okay, but I want to talk but, about but, but so yeah. what, what got me, though, at the end of the day when I thought about it, when I went back to my room, was this dude is going to go and try to send a message, but he's in a meeting with two Mexican-American broadcasters right. and an African-American man from Philadelphia having to explain himself yeah. 
and mm. come, trying to come off as this humble man and everything else. Right. Yeah. My parents from Mexico, Osuna's parents yeah. from Mexico also. No, it so it's like narrative. he had to go and tell us his story. Right. And nobody else in the room was a white guy. Right. Who thought like him. Right. So maybe it fell on deaf ears, but it was very interesting because I got flack from both sides. The people mm. who were pro soccer and the people who were against what he was saying. You said he sent a message, but I, if I'm someone who believes in that message, Rod Salk is not the guy I want. Going in, he was an underdog. Yep. And the moment he, <laughs> s- he throws his first punch, which was kind of an aggravated slap, like, yeah. stop hitting me, C- cut it yeah. out, that's not cool. I'm it wasn't like, that good of a fight. This is not the guy I want to project American strength and invincibility. <laughs> and the, you know the weird thing about the about the shorts? And how flag? fast did he go down? Oh, real quick. Uh, the re- he lasted uh, yeah. six, six rounds. rounds. Yeah, they stopped, oh, well, it, at, they so stopped it at the end of the six. The okay. reason I didn't, he was get, beat down. I didn't get the wall is that most of the time when I think of the wall, I think of like a big iron wall or something like that. I've never thought of it as a brick wall. That's why it was. With the animations that they're out there. Yeah. For the, uh, but also, here's the thing, though. Yeah. Francisco Vargas, the guy who beat him, yes. had no and clue what was going on. Him. He had no clue what was going that did on. did not inspire him to be. Because beat him. the guy is from Mexico City. He yeah. resides in Mexico City. He's a citizen of Mexico. He's not one of the guys who's here illegally. He's not here. Wor- yes. He's not. He has no plans on living in the United States. So you're trying to do this against a guy who was like, I asked him later, like, but do you know what's going on? He goes, I don't care. I'm fighting. Because I don't know. I just hit him. But, like, but, yeah. but, okay, what is the worst way outside of pooping yourself that a boxer can lose? It's sitting on your stool, right? And I, yes, yeah, his just, father was a, <laughs> just heard it, no pun intended. His father was a trainer, stopped the fight. Right, so. right. There, it, it, there's no shame in being knocked out. But losing on the stool, it, it's such a typical metaphor it's for a Americans. Thing, right? Big talk, big talk, right? But the then thing, he, the, I, I, he didn't talk, and he never brought it up. But, but Salka never brought talk. it up. Yeah. But this is big talk. And then the minute it gets hard, Let's just let the Mexican guy do it, okay? Just beat the hell out of me. And then, uh, he got beat down pretty good. He went down earlier in the fight. It was a beat down. Yeah. And he literally had to get up off the stool that he gave up, walk across the ring, and say, thank you for beating my ass. The, <laughs> but the thing yeah. is, when he walked back to the locker room, yeah. now this is the main event. The crowd do? Yeah. This is the main event. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. think about it. They've been there a couple hours oh. <laughs> drinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the beers are kind of cheap there. Yeah. And everybody knew by this time. Yeah. Now. So <laughs> as he's walking down, and it's a short walk from the ring yeah. to the locker room, yeah. and everybody ran over and lined up. I've never seen people line up for an opponent oh. this way. And I was a couple feet behind him, and then they let him have it in English. So he understood that those Mexicans speak some <laughs> But you know what? He'll probably end up on Fox News. He'll probably get it like some kind of gig yeah, out exactly of this. Exactly it. Yeah. He'll be known exactly as the guy. Like I said, there yeah. was stor- positive on both sides, yeah. wherever you want to find it. Yeah. But it's an ultimate troll job. Mm-hmm. And you've done this, and we've seen this in boxing before, where guys will come out with certain things, where they're talking about like, "Hey, I used, to, I, I'm going out now with your ex girlfriend, or I'm doing this like that." And you right. had a great job story, right, about that, John? Yeah. Uh, some so former safety for the Indianapolis Colts, uh, played for Notre Dame, Tom Zibikowski, uh, was a boxer, Golden Gloves. After he finished up with Notre Dame, he uh, decided to do a couple professional matches. His first match, though, was against a guy from Ohio. Um, It was shortly after, a couple weeks after, uh, Ohio State just delivered an absolute beatdown against Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl. And the guy comes out uh, wearing scarlet and gray trunks. Oh. Uh, He he had the the ringside announcer, or the in-ring announcer announce him as wearing the colors of his favorite football team. That's fantastic. The Ohio State Buckeyes, uh, and announce the name, and... uh, I, just, I think it was – I don't even think it lasted 90 seconds. <laughs> Tom Zibikowski just beat the living like shit out a, of the guy. It's just wearing a sign that says hit me, right? It's <laughs> right, pretty much exactly. – it's, 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 it's kind of w- like wearing this jacket. Yeah, we'll w- working yeah, in yeah. boxing, you see so many different things. <laughs> Guys are really creative with certain things. Yeah. Like I've, I actually worked a fight in Puerto Rico a couple years ago with was a, a Mexican fighter, and he went and played Mi Viejo San Juan, which is like a great song about Puerto Rico. And the Puerto Rican fighter like – you can't be playing that song here. You can't be doing this. Floyd Mayweather would wear Mexican colors when he would fight a Mexican guy. So the trolling is always there This is what's in so boxing. sad that, that boxing has, has lost so much of its popularity here. It is the WWE for real. Oh, Every, yeah. Everything in society gets played out in Every a guy's ring. got a story. And as a, um, uh, one of my first bosses always told me, in boxing, just remember, there are no real rules. There are no real etiquette. There are no protocol. Yeah. There is no protocol. I'm saying there are no. Um, I said, is it because... 
People get hit in the head on purpose. <laughs> 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 and, yeah. and anybody can become a manager. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Speaking of getting hit over the head, Colin Kaepernick News <laughs> yes. is going to be hitting you over the head yes. every single day. Yeah. And like, you know, whether you agree with him or don't agree with him, regardless, Kaepernick is news no matter what he right. does. A couple weeks ago, he was supposed to go with the Seattle Seahawks for yes. a workout. That got canceled. canceled the and last you came moment. in the day saying, I got Kaepernick information. I'm like, I really do. I really want to talk about this right yeah, now. Yeah, you do. I no, I don't. <laughs> I but do. you do. So go you for get. It. We're going. The drill is still going on. You got one minute on Kaepernick and go. Okay, really. This is. It, it occurred to me when that happened. The Rams have to sign Colin Kaepernick. The uh, Rams. The Rams have to. This is the place he has to be. Number one, their backup quarterback is Sean Mannion. He's thrown for a total of 250 yards total. Remember. They were good last year because Jared Goff stayed healthy all year. That's not going to happen again. Remember the Philadelphia Eagles. Who do you want more, a 250-yard guy or a guy who's actually taking a team to the Super Bowl? Other people say, oh, political, distraction. You're talking about the bluest city in the bluest state in the union? Distraction? Los Angeles is a distraction. We don't get distracted by things like that. You don't think San Francisco is more blue and more Democrat than and it, more liberal I, than I would say it was Los just Angeles. About, I would say just about And he got equal. run out of San Francisco, basically. Yeah, but I again, that was as their starting quarterback. I'm talking about bringing him in as a backup quarterback, right? Is but here's the most important thing. Yeah, here's the most important thing. If you bring this guy in, you, you say to the rest of the league, we want to win right now. You can come here, be whoever you want to be. The Rams have always been kind of a mm, vanilla franchise, at least here in Los Angeles. Who's been always the glamour franchise here? The Raiders. Why? A collection of funny, interesting individuals. Now you got Sue, you got Peters, you bring in Kaepernick. You tell the rest of the league, you can come here, we want to win right away, and you do you. You're going to be fine. You think that's going to be a little attractive to free agents? I think so. you got to sign Kaepernick. You also, right now with the Rams, have a very volatile locker room situation. These right. guys, Marcus Peters, to, uh, uh, threw the flag. Yeah. Through the, the flag stands. Yeah. in the stands, uh, Sue has always been a problem. In Sue steps everywhere. on people. It, you have a lot of volatile. Okay, I'm just going to mention a few things. And, and you have a coach who's only been a head coach for one year, uh, and he's what 36 years old. Right. 85 Bears, uh, Legion of Boom in Seattle, uh, Baltimore Ravens. That they would works know, in football. But they didn't have anybody as controversial as Kaepernick. And, I, and what I mean, what I mean by ca- controversial yeah. is. Because you bring in Kaepernick to a team, and mind you, some of the guys that get signed as backup quarterbacks right. are trash. Right. They are terrible. Right. Kaepernick deserves, yes. physically, football-wise, the the opportunity to go right. out there and compete. But you got to know what you're going to bring with him. And I'm not trying to make the show completely yeah. about Kaepernick, but you bring him into L.A., now you have every single news outlet. Yeah. Not just sports outlet. Well, if Every I'm the Rams, uh, if I'm the Rams, I love that because right now I'm at, at best third on the on the pole behind the Dodgers and the Lakers. I want that again. If let's they want, you know, if they want to win the off season, that's a good move. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And let's just. But when they're sitting at one and five, it might not be. No, right, right. <laughs> but if they're sitting at one and five, it won't have anything to do with Colin Kaepernick, and I don't think they will. I think that I think. Where did you, this idea come from? Did you read it somewhere, or is it just you? No, no. I was I was watching, and they were talking about Seattle. All of a sudden, I started to think about the Rams. I said, "Well, who the hell is their backup quarterback?" Because they didn't need one last year. And the Chargers. I looked could, and I Chargers saw Sean not, No, the Dodgers. No, because the, the the Chargers still have that military thing from San Diego. I think they still are like a Navy team, that kind of thing. Yeah. What do you mean the they Navy could team? never dip? No, well, because Navy in San Diego is a military town, and I think that's a, still a lot sense. of their fan base is military. Yeah. Yeah. Really? The Rams yeah. don't. Yeah, yeah, the Rams don't have. Chargers any have of a that. fan base? Huh? They still have that San Diego yeah, fan no, base? Kidding. Yeah, no, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. No, no, they still have that San Diego. They have fan base. I'm well. guessing that there are some people from San Diego. I, I, I think I think the Chargers are more an LA fan base now. They're getting there. That's what they're appealing to. I don't know if they have any fan. Well, Do they? Th- they're, it's you a talk small about a, fan base, the, the but they're they, there. Yeah, the day they fill 27,000 seats and yeah. step up center, maybe they'll be I just, local. I, I just never thought of the Chargers in, like, military. Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. The Padres they, are that way, too. Yeah, the Padres, because they have that huge Navy yeah. um, presence. Yeah. yeah. Padres so, yeah. much more so than Chargers. Yeah, the Padres, yeah. I get. I think yeah. NFL is NFL. If you got to complain, and yeah, complain. And to be honest, I don't know if it would work with Phillip Rivers. It might not work That's with That's what Phillip I mean. Rivers if Rivers, how, how long is Rivers going to last? Right. One, two years, but, maybe? But the, but the Rams are a young team. I yeah. think a very open-minded team. Yeah. I, I Again, we t- we've talked about this in the past. One of the attractions, I think, to young athletes about L.A., is hey man, you be whoever you want to be. I gotta tell you, John. But that's the NFL. The NFL, you really can't be yeah. who you want to be. That's what I'm saying. What happens if the Rams? A- NBA, you can be whatever you. You can be Swaggy P, Metal World P. So what happens if the NFL, Rams? NFL, it's 
You better be this way. Oh, no, no, no. What happens the Rams become Ask Marquette the, King. What happens the he Rams? He got cut by the Raiders for having a personality. NBA version of an NFL team. What if they become the new Raiders? I think that would be fantastic. Even the Raiders aren't even the new Raiders. But that's what I'm saying. There's a void there. There's a void. I, I mean, that could be another show. This, yes, this, this, you're, great, you're now becoming Sports Talk Radio. That's a great Which point. is not no, what the drill is. No. no. Well, it's a great, I, think it's I a really great, do mean this. I think it's a viable point. I really do mean yeah. it. I, not only do I think it's it, it's a solid short-term uh, football uh, fix, yeah. but I think it, it sets a tone that could set up the Rams for years to come. I think if they did this. But you also have a – look, just because L.A. is blue, you still have a lot of people – who aren't right in that Coliseum? Right. Yeah. It, you have you a lot of people from Orange County who are Rams fans. Right. You have a lot of people from Riverside who are Rams fans. Right. You have a lot of people across the country who are Rams fans. Yeah. Still. But okay, what makes a really popular, iconic franchise? Is it the people who love them? Winning. Uh-uh. No. Yes. It's winning. It's the people who hate them. It's winning. winning. Okay, so let's bring in the best backup quarterback we can, and then let's win. And do people hate us? Great. Now we're the Yankees, now we're the Lakers, now yeah. we're the uh, teams that win. The the Patriots. Teams right? that win. Yeah. And that will do it for the drill. Wow, that was a long drill. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, cuz it was good. <laughs> hey, when you come with heat, you bring it strong. Yeah. We could do that. Eric, how's that hockey minute doing? <laughs> can I have a redo? No. Yo! no. Eric, yeah, hey, Eric, let me know when you're ready. Get your stuff yeah. going. I'll give you another 45 seconds, oh, right? thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. I right now. Possible. We'll talk about the abs. <laughs> Yeah, because I have no idea what you talked about in the last. We can talk about the penguins. Do I? That's true. All right, here we go. We're running out of time. Yep. It doesn't mean anything because we can do whatever we want on this show. We can go for three hours. Forget your conference call. Forget <laughs> that you're stuck in traffic. <laughs> Forget what's going on because right now it is time for the business with Tom Holfar. Do we have a sound effect for that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. That's All appropriate. Right. One more time. One more time. Get the sound Tell effect ready to go. Ready? And now it is time for the business with Tom Holfar. Yeah, you got anything else over there? <laughs> I got all sorts of sounds. All right, let's try it one more time. Oh, good drill, Steve. That was excellent. We, you know, when you come in strong, we give you extra time. <laughs> thank you, thank Wrap you, that up. Thank and now, you. as we move on, it's time for the drill with Tom Hopart. Yeah. Eh, I don't like that one. No, 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 no. What else you got? I'll find something. How about some pink Floyd? All right, one more time. One more. Last one, last one, last one. Ready? Money. Just hit anything. I don't care. Oh, Lowry, as always, you're wrong. Thank you, brother. <laughs> but thank but you. strong uh, drill. Don't be negative. No be negative yeah, here. Yeah, no complaining. And it's now time. It's wonderful. It is now time for the adults to get part of the show. Oh, yeah. As Tom Hofarth has a brand new sport coat and business cards. It is time for the business with Tom Hofarth. Business. Oh, I like that. That was good. Boom. That was all right. That's now, all right. if we could combine some of those together. So yeah, we'll work on it. And then we're going to. So, Tom, you are a man who writes for the media. You write yes. about the media. You critique them. I'm a journalist. You're a journalist. I'm a critic. You're a critic. You have your own website, farteroffthewall.com, by the way. It's on the business card. Uh, what's on the business this week? The business is the shaping of Josh Rosen as an NFL draft pick. And we want to talk NFL draft. It's coming up a week from this week. Um, we're talking Finally. there's lo- there's a lot of local interest because yeah. of Darnold, Sam Darnold, and Josh Rosen. And there's a lot of interest in where these two guys are going to end up. And you start off c- a couple weeks ago with Jim Mora talking about uh, how Rosen is too smart. He buried Rosen. Right. How? Well, he buried him. What do you say? He said that they should take Darnold over right. Rosen. How's that burying him? But this is th- and then this gets his own guy. It gets into the semantics of what is Mora's ultimate game plan is to yeah. get Cleveland not to draft Rosen, to get hit them to draft Darnold. You know, it's okay. there's all this gamesmanship involved. Yeah. But now lately, so ESPN magazine came out with this big Josh Rosen feature, and th- what what caught my eye wasn't Ooh, that sultry. so much is how the Washington Post followed up with it with a story that said Josh Rosen is Jewish and a millennial. Does the NFL care? So now the narrative is He's starting Jewish? to I didn't get. Know that. Well, that that is an interesting sort of thought because he went to a Catholic high school, Saint yeah. John Bosco. Mm-hmm. He says in the story he doesn't identify either way, culturally Jewish perhaps. He's socially, you know, what a kid is today. Sure. And then, and then there's the issue too that John and I were talking about too. Whether he's even a millennial, do right. we even believe that that's I, the case? I don't. I don't necessarily think like college age students at this point are still can be categorized as millennials. I don't know what the next name for it is. I've yeah. heard yeah. zennials and other stuff like that. Yeah. But um, it's there's a different kind of mentality going on with uh, college age kids because like I have a brother who's about to turn 20. Yeah. And like my sister who is 26. Like her and I are definitely of the same generation. So are you, do you but identify he is as a millennial? Not necessarily, yeah, I'll say I'll say I'm a millennial. Sure. My kids, if I say that, they will punch me in the head, which is disrespectful. 
But d- how do you feel about the term? Uh, it's well, the way the term has been it's used not by been most used media, well, again, it's, it's, it's pretty it's much right. always negative. It's right. a bad it's narrative. Almost ne- yeah. yeah. So the cover says Josh Rosen won't shut up and throw. That's old people. An interview with the NFL's yeah, most old people. draft in fact, intriguing that's, QB. That's what the story is about the media and how they're sort of taking these code words right. and what they're interpreting them. So if a Tony Kors- Kornheiser says, I think when you say a Jewish kid is too smart, that's code word for... Anti-Semitic. Uh, yeah, very yeah. much. So most of us in today's world might not even put those two together. Mm-hmm. Josh, I'm sure, doesn't put any of that together. Right. He sort of understands the history of it, but he is such a bright kid, I think. I think the question with him is obviously health. Mm-hmm. with concussions and things like that, but that's not being discussed. The media wants to discuss this whole background of his personality right? And, and because of Mora trying to do this manipulation, obviously, with the press as well. So my media rant is, t- is don't believe everything you read and don't believe y- everything you hear, but sort of take it for what it's worth. And, again, this was a really good in-depth interview with Josh, and he sort of explained the background, why he brought up his past, uh, he, he does come from a wealthy background. He yeah. comes from a his rich His dad, heritage. Ivy League educated, right. orthopedic surgeon. Yeah. Right. Mom he is a great, great granddaughter of the Wharton School of Business. Right. <laughs> Jeez. His dad was up to be Surgeon General. Yes. Right. That's right. how great his well, dad is. So out. what's the what, what's your so angle so here? That, that's my angle is just be careful what you read and, and process well, it. and don't code words, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I was telling you, I was listening to oh Colin Cowherd. Come Calvert. on, there's all kinds of code words right. in exactly. He's so a grinder. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm listening He's a real, to real scrappy yeah. gym rat. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm listening to Colin Coward. Brian Cox is on there, and they're asking him about the Rams' Marcus Peters and saying, Oh, he got in arguments with coaches, and he's got a bad attitude. And and Brian Cox says, well, well wait a minute. Tom Brady was cussing yeah. out yeah. his coaches. What do people say? Oh, he's passionate. He's yep. gutty, right. right? Okay, we know what these code words are. So we have a, a young <laughs> Jewish kid, and he's smart. Yeah. Too smart? Too smart. It's it's nasty. Yeah. There, it, it, see, it, my thing yesterday when we were talking about this through email is, though, like, uh, in an informal uh, survey, a hundred percent of my friends had no clue he was Jewish. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't was, know until uh, right now. Yeah. yeah, you found yeah. out now. It's like, what does it matter? It t- right, it's right, nothing right. to do with anything. Again, it's the media bringing it's these things up because they have all this time to fill before the draft as right. well, which is another problem, I think, with the draft and the media. They're, they're, well, there can be so many different things because, yeah. I mean, look who's writing about these guys. Right. Older, yeah, bitter older, white guys. Right. right. You're right. Like, yeah. Code word for so many different things. And but when you get a kid who can talk Q and A on the record, he's he's, he's unfiltered. Right. He can explain himself. He's a very smart kid. He's very clever. Here's he, the thing: he understands the sarcasm. Having been around yeah. some yeah. of his UCLA teammates, yeah, and I actually know his high school coach Jason Negro, and I'm like, okay, everybody raves about how he is as a teammate and yeah. as right. a person. Yeah. Right. But it's always the people who don't know who are right. just watching from Make afar. Oh, look at this kid. Look at that kid. Like, right. So he had a hot tub at UCLA. Dude, if I could have had a hot tub at UCLA, I'd have two of them. He regrets. Like, you know? he regrets thought that was brilliant. Lee yeah, Danny. exactly. He actually regrets doing that, not for the reasons you think, just because he thought that that sent out the wrong message. And he, they, it was a joke that but he But at wanted. the same time, in that same interview, what he talks about, uh, how, yeah, that sent out the wrong message, is he's saying that he doesn't give a shit about what the message he's right. putting out. Right. Mm-hmm. And then he's saying, oh, well, you know, I should uh, I should you know not say the f- I should not say fuck because uh, because the these, thing, uh, these yeah. children. Yeah. But then in the same interview he says fuck four more times. So mm-hmm. it's it's that's where his issues are. It's well, not that kid. he's Jewish or that he's a millennial or anything. It's that he's full of he's all sorts kid. of right. He's, he's all sorts yeah. of stuff. He's, he's a college student, yeah. which right. is right. how yeah. we all were at that age. Yeah, or still at this age. But the thing that I find interesting when we talked about uh, Rosen is. People want to question how bad he wants to be in the NFL, right? Because he comes he from some money. He doesn't, he doesn't need, need it. Either. But the, the Johnny Manziel question. But the Manziel was more of just I want to party. This guy's actually working hard. Yeah. He's yes. doing the work, getting out there. He enjoys it, and he enjoys and it. He knows. But why is it fair to say how bad does this kid want to do this? When he's not allowed to have because, outside opinions. Because the fans of every team want to know: Is it worth drafting him? Instead of praising him for having right. no, opinions, no, no. It's, but it's the all else. your team. It's your tribe. Does, well, Marlon, does our tribe want him. Remember so. Marlon Roll. The defensive yes. back, who was the a doctor, ro- the yeah. doctor yeah. now, yeah. who was a Rhodes, Rhodes Scholar yeah, Rhodes out of scholar. Florida State, yep. was questioned about his desire to right. play in the NFL, right. and maybe he because he missed certain things to go apply for a Rhodes yeah. Scholarship, he, way, he didn't he, have what it took. The code word for him was he was well spoken too. Right. Uh, I'm, right. Well, let's tell I'm not going to get his code word. Yeah. Yeah. Good code yeah. word. The, the dirty little <laughs> secret that we all know that most people don't know, which is this: a good percentage of professional athletes do not like playing their sports. They do that job no. the same reason you do for a job. They get They're good paid. at it. Who's the golfer exactly. that was a baseball player? Right. 
I'll never forget. forget I'll never forget interviewing Sam Perkins it for was, the late. He won recently. Yeah. Oh, oh Destin. Doesn't Johnson. matter. Move on. Move yeah. on. Move on. I'll never forget talking to Sam Perkins of the Lakers. Uh, uh, 10, 15 years ago, and him saying not only didn't he like basketball, he didn't like sports at all. <laughs> <laughs> why did he play? I get they pay me millions of dollars. They pay me millions of dollars, and I set up my family. Yeah. A lot right. of guys, why do we do our jobs? Right. Because we love what we do. <laughs> we ain't get paid. But we ain't doing. <laughs> but there's a lot of guys in the media. This is actually who hate their job too. This is actually the highlight of my week, which again I'm sad. It so is that, yeah. Well, most yeah. people do jobs they don't like. Yes. Like, and yes. are really successful right. at it. Most right. of yeah. my friends. Right. You, know, you have to find. I know you down in Newport Coast are watching. Exactly. Yeah. No, I, I hedge fund guys. You really anybody ever say I want to grow to be a hedge fund guy? Oh my god! Right. Don't get me into. And I'm watching right billions. Oh. <laughs> Don't get me into hedge funds. I'm watching funds. billions right now. Have you guys watched it? I know, but it looks great. Oh yeah. my! In billions, there's so many references to sports in the last two episodes. Right. Like one of them was Billy Bean has never won a World Series. One of the answers was, but Theo Epstein did with the same principles, but he gets it. So uh, uh, there's, a, there's a, con- a lot of different things in there. Are you done with the the? the well, the other part was the I business. Th- what else? I what spent the day yesterday with. Oh, uh, that's right. Hank Azaria. Brock Meyer. Brock Meyer, Jim Brock Meyer. The new season two starts April 25th. That's not my proposal. It's, it's, it's I'm promoting the show. Now. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to be a promoter of the show, but but Hank was really fun to hang Hold out on, with. Go. Brock Meyer on I- IFC. IFC and go and check it out. You can actually go back and watch them on demand right now, which is what on I did Hulu. a couple on Hulu. Yep. Saw it a couple weeks ago. Brock Meyer, Jim Brock Meyer, voiced by Hank Azaria, is a minor league broadcaster who is just always in character. He's always over the top. He wears the loud jackets and. He was in the majors, right. then had a meltdown on air where he ended up overseas. He's now back in the United States as a broadcaster. Working hates his way. Joe Buck. Hates, hates Joe everything. Buck. He's hates working Wendell's his way back Burger. up to the main, yeah, He's a very bitter league. drunk man, right. and he's in the minor leagues. Are you league. talking about me? No, season, oh, yeah. so season two is no, now. You're not, you're not bitter. Season two, he's in New Orleans now, and they promised him the job with the, Bra- with the Atlanta team. But the guy has to retire, and it's kind of like this Vin Scully storyline where he just keeps going, and Brock Meyer's getting more and more upset that this guy won't retire. This, so this is in season two. They've really taken it to a lot darker yeah. episode of him and his and his drunkenness and his bitterness. So Hank is really kind of talking about that as the, you know, I don't know what you can compare it to. Better Call Saul. There's a lot of darkness yeah. in in Breaking Bad and that kind of things. Yeah. Where you sort of a little. You, well, you don't have to relate <laughs> to the character to enjoy it, right? Right. And and but the fact is, it started as a funny and die skit. Right. Where here was this parody of an old broadcaster. Really? And Will Farrell helped develop this character. So Will Farrell, you know, going back to him and Anchorman and Ron Burgundy. Right. So so my point was Or Harry Carey on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah. So so Hank is now sort of getting into this Brock Meyer character. So when he shows up on these sports shows, yeah. they want him as character. Right. And he all he has to do is put on a jacket, a shirt, and a red tie, and he's in. Right. I mean, he doesn't have to go prosthetics and things, wigs and things like that. So he can really do it. And on Rich Eisen's show Monday... He wait, did. wait, he's getting interviewed as Brock Meyer? He, well, yeah. it, with That's Rich's show, with He Rich's was on show, yeah. Levitar. I, I saw like that. Yeah. He was on Levitar yeah. last week. So on Rich's show, he did five minutes as Hank. He went and changed five minutes as, as Brock, Brock Meyer. Meyer. Really? And that's when he just laid into Musburger, and he had all these great lines that I don't know if and he, he even got Joel, on the air. He has Joel Buck, who's his arch nemesis. Right, right, right. I hate you, Joel Buck. So then Buck. later he went on to Mason in Ireland, and, and they, they all said hi to you, by the way. All the people did. at ESPN said, where's Beto, man? They loved him. The, 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 so man of the people, man so of the we people. had a great time there. and then um, They're just mad because we're going to take their job. So the funny part is, while Hank is promoting this, he loves going on the sports talk shows rather than Next week he'll be going on Colbert, yeah, and uh, Kelly and whoever uh, Hoda. Michael, Hoda. Oh, it's Hoda. Okay. No, that's a Today Show. Oh, but Kelly and uh, Ryan Seacrest. It's Ryan, oh, right, oh, yeah, Kelly. Yeah. So he's doing those things to promote it because he's on their obligation to promote it. But it's it's the fun part is when he goes on the sports shows because the people he gets to on talk about the Mets and he gets to talk about right. The people on the general stuff. shows aren't going to get a lot of the jokes no, that don't, if no. you listen to right. baseball a lot you'll yeah, get. You'll right? They yeah. know. And yeah. But he doesn't want to be like just for sports fans. He wants right. to be for just kind of fans who love. This weird sort of. Well, it's not a family drama. show, so if you got issues, Brock yeah. Meyer is for you. He's told <laughs> that this season he can use f bombs twice a show. Oh, but oh last season they couldn't do it; they would bleep it out. It yeah, so oh, they're funny. expanding. That, they're, they are. Good for them, and they're going just like the drill. We're going to expand. <laughs> we're going to have <laughs> we're, using, we're using f bombs. Well, yeah, we had. I didn't know week. we could do that. We, we, no, no, you can't. It's in the context. You, you, it's all in context. You, you're a writer. You edit yourself. Ah, okay. You should have heard Eric using f bombs when he was talking about the Kings and Ducks earlier. Oh, exactly. So Brock Meyer, you follow him around, so it was a good story. It was great. Yeah, this will be. I'll I'll come up with a story. It'll be somewhere in some publication by the end of the. How do you get access to these people? Um, it's relationships, long-term That's relationships cool. with PR Stocking. people, and yeah. man of the and people. just say, hey, I got this guy. I, I'll get a call sometime from a, a TNT guy. Hey, Barkley's going to be on the, on um, uh, who's doing a Conan or something. You yeah. want to come and see it? 
Oh, yeah, so we'll hang out with Barkley. And then and you write a story about him. Yeah, that's kind of what they so want. So basically, the Tom is thing. saying that the drill is going to start getting some heavy hitting guests. We are. You want to go on Conan? Now no, I want to go on the drill. There is a, I don't think I can talk about this yet, but our oh. executive producer, Jeff, yes. is working on a uh, multimedia sports don't talk about assignment that. that we could work Ooh, on. Oh, yeah. That's coming up. Okay, oh, just, just you two, huh? That's no. cool. I thought we were a team here. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> That's right. cool. I'm we'll busy that weekend. Well, you probably are, weird. so that's why we don't want to. What? It's whatever. In the, it's whatever. in the works. It's whatever. in the works. Whatever. A married couple. So it's you know how that goes. You guys, you guys yeah. sure fly together. We Shmeed, fly. you good over there? <laughs> I'm good, boys. So you ready for the hockey minute? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh All right, God. ready. You got 30 seconds. Ready? Okay. Hockey minute with Eric Eber and go. I'll do it from here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another minute? Is he getting no, bottle service over there? What the hell's happening? Go. All right. One thing on the Ducks. Seven seven minor penalties in game seven. Corey Perry. Seven. Terrible. Game Terrible. seven. You're not making it game seven. Oh, in game one. Sorry. <laughs> and that has been another oh. edition of The Drill. Oh. John Matt, McKelvey, oh. where are you headed to this week, John? Coachella. You're going to yeah. Coachella? Yes. Oh. Weekend two. We will start Ooh. next show with Coachella nope. Review. Oh, yes. Wait, are you camping or are you going VIP? I am camp. Uh, VIP, I wish. Yeah. No, How do you I am not? camping. I am car camping. That's a lot uh, of money. Yeah. Wait, wait. Who's paying? Me. Why? Because it's out of my own pocket. The whole point of being the big boss of the drill is you yeah. get stuff for free. You do. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we're, 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 I'm like, maybe next year I'll get the free that is, VIP That's you do it now. Well, you we'll just try. take the we'll GoPro try. with you and you p- tell people you're ho- doing it oh, for them. Yeah. Hey, yeah. take their stuff for the GoPro. Yeah. They did all the media stuff last week. Dude, don't, I got a Media is year-round, 24-7. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. There is no, you deadlines. How cute. <laughs> here's, your, here's your challenge. Get an interview with Beyonce this week. No, right. no, we don't want Beyonce. Get uh, oh, Los, An- no, Los Angeles Azules. Can you get them? Oh, that, I'm totally going to see them, by the way. I'm so I don't excited. even They're know. Playing, right? yeah. I don't even know you anymore. Los Angeles Azules is a L.A. based uh, <laughs> uh, salsa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cumbia, cumbia. Yeah, one of my favorite Eric, punk bands you know is actually going to be there. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> they have a side project called Mariachi El Bronx. I was hoping they what? were going to oh. show up. Wait, yeah. wait, mariachi punk style? Yeah, well, they're no, it's like legit mariachi music, but they're a bunch of punks that basically they're from LA. They love what's it called? Mariachi El Bronx. Wow, because there's a band called Metalachi where they do metal style. Yes, mariachi I've heard of them as well. Ooh. Yeah, we learned so much here. But remember Los Lobos. Los Lobos would have their yeah. alternative thing. Then they would just play Who? straight mariachi. Did you see hey, Los, Los Lobos, Lobos was in La Bamba, man. I Don't even Richie start. Richie Valens. Richie Valens was good. Not my Richie. That's been another edition of the Drill Four. La 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 bamba. Oh, there you go. Patronize la, like la, a white guy. La 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 bamba. Oh, God. I sound like you're homo. So all you want right there. Nosotros I just want to say one thing. No. Fuck. No. Okay. Oh. 